So this is a corn that is on the inside of that baby toe and it comes because the bone right underneath there is hitting up against the other bone in the other toe. Now sometimes people will have a corresponding corn right there. You don't have that, you just have this one. And the fact that it's been so painful makes me wonder if there's maybe an open sore underneath it. So let's trim everything down here and see if, see if we can get the thick skin off and make sure that the skin underneath is good. So you let me know if any of this is hurting. I'm trying to find the best. Let me know if I'm breaking your toe by holding it out like that. <laughs> you know, if any of this is hurting you, let me know. Yes. Okay, so right here, right, right here is where the little piece of bone is sitting right underneath, because mm -hmm. you've got this little core. Mm -hmm. And now, if there's going to be an open sore under this, that's where it'll be. So I'm not seeing an open sore underneath this, which is good. And sometimes when the little corn here gets too thick, it can be super painful. Well, wait a second, maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah. Okay. So all the skin there is intact. Now, what we need to figure out is so how are we going to protect that little spot from hitting up against the other bone? So there's a few different um, kinds of pads that I can show you. I don't know, that to me that just looks like there should be an open sore there. That I'm just not deep enough to see it. I'm not creating one. If there's not one, I'm not going to create one there. But just given how painful this toe has been, you said you can't even wear shoes on, on this foot, right? Right. Right. It isn't a constant pain. Mm -hmm. I can go hours without any pain at all. Okay. Well, let's see if just by trimming off all the thick skin over the top of that then, um, if that maybe helps. So, a couple of the things. We have a little pad here that's made out of just gel. Mm -hmm. And if you put that right in between here, mm -hmm. it's going to cushion those two bones and stop them from rubbing against each other. Now, once you get your sock on, that will usually stay right where it is. Sometimes you may have to tape it to one toe or the other, or even just tape these two toes together, oh, okay. and that will hold it in. Another option would be, there's a little toe cap uh -huh. that looks like this, that has gel on the inside, and you could put that over the toe, and now that's going to cushion it, mm -hmm. like that. 
Um, simplest thing and, and kind of an old standby is these are corn pads and they're just felt adhesive corn pads. They have a little hole that comes out of the middle. And what I do is I, I cut it so that it's more of a circle than an oval. And then you just put the sore spot right in that hole. Okay. And then you, can, you don't have to, but you could put a Band-Aid or something over it. But even just that now mm -hmm. is going to take up the pressure around that spot so they don't hit together. Okay. And that's what we'll do to prevent it. Um, ultimately, if it continues to be a problem, we can take an x-ray and see if there's an easy way just to remove that little prominent piece of bone underneath there. Oh, okay. Okay, but let's start with this. Right. And we'll see how long we can keep you comfortable like that. Okay. Okay? Yes. All right. Thank you. Our patient on the video today is a longtime patient who wears something called an AFO or ankle foot orthosis. This is a picture of what an ankle foot orthosis looks like and the AFO is for people who have what we call foot drop and it's a brace that's meant to go inside an athletic shoe or otherwise known as a tennis shoe or sneakers or trainers and this patient decides that she wants to use the brace as her shoe which is it's fine except that it's going to shorten the life of the device because eventually it will break. And the device has not been adjusted enough to take the pressure off this one spot on her foot that has created this very thick painful callus for her. And you'll see this is one of the toughest calluses I've tried to uh, take off and you'll see that my blades basically bounce off the callus and uh, it's just an interesting little callus that because she let it go so long has turned into an open sore underneath. So this is the danger with letting calluses go too.